Hi, thank you and welcome to Sport Keg. Uh, I wanted to make this important updates uh, to some of my previous videos. I'm going to leave the previous videos up because there's a lot of good information on there, but uh, while you watch the older videos, bear a couple of things in mind. Um, one was that I showed that you would have, you can put these sideways in your in your refrigerator. This is tap style one. It's our least expensive tap, but it has uh, a, a couple of caveats. If you put it in sideways, there's some extra maintenance that you'll need to do from time to time. And that is to clean out inside the, inside the regulator. So the thing about this regulator is it's not a quick connect. Um, if you have a batch of beer and you're halfway in it, you have to leave it all assembled. Leave it all assembled because if you take it off, now you've just let air get in. So only between batches would you ever take this off or take this off. So I showed putting it in sideways, you know, oriented like this. Now beer can get into the regulator and that's why you'd have to go in and sometimes um, take this apart. Now this unscrews apart from each other. You'll see there's a big spring and a piece of, you know, a rubber seal on the inside of this one. Um, this, this whole assembly actually comes apart if you ever needed to. But inside here, you can get beer in this little chamber inside there. And if it dries up inside there, it's sticky. And so this piston can stick. That's why you'd want to make sure and clean it. What happens uh, if it sticks is the pressure may not be regulated and it may go full pressure right into the hose and the hose could blow. So if you have, if you have a tap style one, keep it oriented vertically or be prepared to go inside this guy it just takes two big, you know, two of these guys, open it up. It typically will leave a little mark when you do it, you know. But um, that's the that's a little caveat to that one. Can be done, just a little extra maintenance required with it. Now, if you have tap style two or three, they come with uh, quick connects. So... It's real easy, if you're gonna put this sideways in your fridge, just do this first. You can even leave the faucet on, it doesn't matter. That's not gonna hurt anything. As a matter of fact, residual pressure might even uh, pour a few more beers out before you'll need to uh, put any more CO2 on it. But anyway, uh, you can put this in sideways and um, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, if, if the pressure starts to get a little low, just simply pull it out, out of the fridge, stick that back on, turn up only two PSI. If all you're gonna do is dispense, really only need about two PSI on the gauge just to let it out. Now, if you're gonna store for a while, um, keep about eight or 12 pounds of pressure inside. That way, let's say we're half full, the beer here, the CO2 in this beer, will not try to equalize into a relatively um, uh, low CO2 area. It, it, there won't be any air oxygen in there, but the CO2 could be lesser. So, but if you kept 10 or 12 pounds of pressure up here, the CO2 isn't gonna wanna come out of solution in the beer, follow what I'm saying. But if you pour your beer at eight or 12 PSI, you'll probably just get a, a bigger head, a little more foam, um, in your in your pour that way so no no big deal but you can dial it you'll find that you can dial it way down and keep the head down to a you know a, a ready to drink level without getting it all in your mustache um what else did i want to cover yeah just take those this the only way you get this uh regulator is with tap style three so again this regulator uh, will pop right off with its quick connects and um, and you don't have to worry about beer getting up inside it and possibly gumming up the works. So those are the updates uh, for now. The, the other videos still got a lot of good information so I didn't want to redo them all but um, yeah just bear in mind if you put this sideways don't forget this, that sometimes beer can get inside there um, and and stick a little bit um, if you have the quick connects, just pop that guy off before you put it in the fridge sideways.
So that is it for today. And thank you for all your support. I want to shout out to a couple of important ones. Arkansas Overland did a really great video for me. And I really, really appreciate Grant. What a great guy. Thank you, Grant. Uh, so I want to uh, let you know that if, uh, if you're in uh, the St. Louis area, I'll be going to Sigurblot. Sigurblot. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But it's a Viking, it's a, it's a Viking celebration at Four Brothers Meadery um, in Festus, Missouri. So look that up. That's happening this weekend. I'll be there um, selling my, my wares and uh, also to SUV RVing. Um, you know, they're a, a great channel to, to, to watch if you want to see somebody who really knows his way around the western part of the United States and sometimes a little bit on the eastern part of the Mississippi. Um, you got to check that out. So, okay, that's all for today. Um, thanks and have a good day.